Hello. Boring American again. Still on home from Port Arthur. How's it going today? American stock transfer and, uh, and trust. Computer share. Bank of New York Mellon. These are something. These are some of the companies that do stock transfers. If the company that you have that you want to purchase can give you a drip, you look up the company name. For instance, Hawaiian Electric. So you Google Hawaiian Electric stock agent. A name will come up. And then you will contact that. If it's computer share, it's automated. But it doesn't have to be if you press a button and then you can talk to somebody. And then you can ask them that you want a prospectus. If you want a prospectus that talks about the stock. Or you can say that you want the paperwork for a drip and ask them certain questions like, what's the minimum monthly? Uh, you can purchase it by month or you can just send in one, one time. Some companies will let you start buying stock for $25. Some it's $50, some it's more. It all depends on the stock. So you call up, so you look, you Google the name of the company that you want to buy stock in. If you don't have a broker, if you have an online broker, it's easier. But for people who want to start doing a drip and they don't want to pay fees, but some of the drips charge fees. If you want to purchase stock, they'll charge you $5, and then they'll buy, charge you a certain amount for each share. It could be three cents a share, nine cents a share, whatever it is. If the stock says you're gonna buy, you're gonna need to pay $5 for the computer share. I mean, $5 for the stock as a fee, then it would be cheaper to go with an online broker that doesn't charge anything. Now that was a little bit, I, I think that that's a little disingenuous because today I was online and I looked at uh, a direct purchase of a stock and it said some, some dollars and 15 cents. And then when I was pressing to purchase it, it went up to some dollars and 19 cents. I think it was five dollars and 19 cents. And then right after I made the purchase, price went down direct within two minutes to uh, five dollars and thirteen and a half cents so yes the price of the stock can go up and the price of the stock can go down and it can be very close to instantaneous they say there's no fee they bundle them all together and they get some type of my understanding is some form of kickback when they bundle the shares and they purchase them together I'm investigating a new company to me that will give you part of your own money back. I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. I'll keep you posted. But the company says that uh, all these different companies have some kind of rebate or some money back. They, they say they don't charge you anything. But when they bundle them, they make some kind of Money and this one company is going to give you money back. I haven't investigated, fully investigated the company. I don't know if it's a scam or not yet, so I can't tell you the name of the company. I don't want you to go out and use that company to purchase your stock until I find out it's legit. Companies that are legit uh, were Vanguard, which is a pain in the leg. Charles Schwab, which a friend of mine uses. Those will let you buy for no money. Trans uh, supposedly, they don't charge you anything. So if you were going to buy Walmart stock, you would call Computer Share, and then you would talk to, you would press the button to talk to somebody. And then you would tell them that you want to start the DRIP program. And so they would send you something to enroll in DRIP. You can also get a prospectus. It just basically tells you about the company. So you get your prospectus. That's how I do it. 
you can get your prospectus and you can get your direct enrollment form and computer share has i think it's like uh, nine in the morning to five in the afternoon or something like that i'm not exactly sure their hours but you can google the number and computer share will come up and then you can buy then you tell them uh, the stock that you want to purchase if they are the purchasing agent then you can get the paperwork sent to you they do a lot of stuff in book form which means you don't have to physically have the stock certificate now you can send for a stock certificate but that costs additional money I'm not sure if it's five dollars or fifty dollars but you can get a certificate with your name printed on it in all the shares that you own when you sell those when you sell your shares, then you're going to have to uh, return a certificate. A lot of people like to see the certificate, know that they own it. Um, other people would rather just have it the convenience of being able to buy and sell everything online and not have to worry about it. It's up to you what you really want to do. If you get the certificate and spend the extra money, you could be using that extra money to purchase uh, more shares of stock. If you buy without a physical certificate, I suggest that you every day or every three days or something like that, take a picture of the stocks that you own. Because we don't know who will ever hack the system and take away your stock shares. You know, there's cyber criminals everywhere and it will take months and months and months to figure it out. If you have a physical share of the stock, that would be easier to prove that you own the stock. But you can order those if, uh, through your transfer agent. Bank of New York Mellon is a transfer agent. I don't particularly like Bank of New York Mellon because I've used them before. And they actually hold a particular stock that I wanted to purchase. And they wanted to charge me $5 for the, for the ability to buy that stock. Well, they owned it. It was a Bank of New York Mellon stock that they own. So it's like, you're charging me a fee to buy something from you and you're the transfer agent. It didn't really set well for me for a $5 fee. So I didn't buy the stock. It could have been a good, I, mean, I think it had a 5% yield. But now that's being disingenuous when you look at 5% of the amount of stock you buy at that time, not including a $5 fee. If you bought one share, and the share was $25, whatever it was, I'm not sure what it was at the time, and you have another $5, then you're getting the 5% on the 25, not the 30. So these hidden fees or these fees that they charge, you have to be careful about. So if I were you, well, if I were me, and I am me, I have gotten to the point where I do buy certain stock. AGNC is a one I like. I've got three different accounts with AGNC, seriously. I've got a, a drip with them, and the drip just re, in, reinvests the profits of that. And then I have uh, another one, I have another group of AGNC stock, and that's where the one I used through uh, Wells Fargo. I bought some, some AGNC stock, and I just directly reinvested the dividends back into that. And another place I own AGNC stock is my Vanguard account. So there's three or four different ways that you can buy stock. You should settle on one or two ways. Build your portfolio and then be ready to transfer your portfolio to another broker if this broker gives you too many problems. So I was saying about my Vanguard account moving it to over Schwab. I haven't heard anything bad about Schwab. It's up to you. If you want to deal, start with Schwab, you can do that. Now, the apps, a friend of mine uses Robin Hood to buy his stock. The thing about Robin Hood and Webull and Stash, a lot of those companies, I'm not too sure if Webull and Stash do it, but they'll let you buy part of a share of a stock. So if you have a stock that's 100 shares, $100, you can buy $1 worth. And if it goes up a dollar, you're up, uh, what, a penny? You can buy a dollar's worth. So it all depends on what you want to do. I prefer whole shares or drip shares where you can 
more easily keep tabs on it. I'm not the person that wants to buy ten dollars in, in Robin Hood of uh, something like Walmart. It's always best to buy, whole, in my opinion, I always prefer to buy whole shares. Now there's some stocks that I bought that I bought that'll take part of the dividend and automatically they'll invest it in another stock, uh, the same stock, and it'll accrue and it'll make. A partial share and I'll, I guess that's okay but I don't go around trying to buy partial shares usually I usually like to buy one or two or ten shares or 60 shares or whatever I want to do at a time whatever I can afford the best way in my opinion what I have been doing is working at getting monthly and quarterly stocks that pay you consistently monthly and quarterly on different dates so I can reinvest that today I had some uh, $5 in passive income that was in my account, so I used it on another share. OXSG, I think. I'm not sure which one it was. It was one of the O's. It was not. Um, I'm going to get a list of stocks and tell you which ones I have purchased, how many I bought. Like I told you, Frontline, and then I sold it. It's okay to sell a stock, but then you have to know that you're going to have a capital loss or a capital gain. If you have a capital gain under the old system, it was less. Biden is going to try to raise the uh, capital gains tax again. Uh, personally, I think that that's unfair. Why you want to continue to you know, change the uh, income of corporations like, okay, it's at 21% right now, and now he wants to raise it to 28%. Why? It should go down to 15 or 10 or 9, but uh, let's stick with the stocks. So use your stock transfer agent and you can find out what that is, which one you need by Googling the name of your company with the, along with a stock transfer agent. The name of the company will come up and you can either go through their website or call the, uh, the toll free number. Then you can talk to a person and tell them that you want a prospectus which tells you about the company and that you want to participate in the drip program if they have a drip program if they have a drip program then you can put say, fifty dollars a month every month to buy a particular stock hundred dollars a month or whatever you want and then it might buy 1.27 shares or five shares it depends whether you're buying the uh, what they call them penny stocks but they're not penny stocks if they're five dollars but they say five dollars and under they consider that a penny stock so you can buy these stocks. Some of them you have to spend eighty dollars on. If they have a drip and you put fifty dollars, you almost get one. But if it's uh, twenty-two dollars or twenty-three dollars and you get one, one and a half or two, or whatever it is, depending on how much you purchase a month. Don't put all your money on one stock. You want to get as diverse as you can because you want as many paydays as you can and you don't want one stock to tell you what your income is going to be next month. If you have five stocks, that's good, but if you have 10 stocks, in my opinion, that's better. I've got 40 that I look at right now. Around 40 something. There's one speculative stock that I buy, um, the QUBT. That's a quantum computer stock. That one, I think, will be, I'm hoping it'll be the next Microsoft. It doesn't pay anything in dividends. I have like 60-some shares. If it's the next, if it becomes $1,000 a share, then that 66 shares will be $66,000. If it's 2000 a share, or, well, I think, well, it's 60-plus shares. I said 66, it may be 66, it may be 62. It may be 68, I'm not sure, i have to look at it again. But don't put all of your eggs in one particular stock. A lot of people say, well, if I would only bought GE at such and such a price, if I would have only bought Netflix when it was such and such a price, if I would have only bought uh, AT&T when it was such a price, or when I only bought the car company, Tesla, at such and such a price. That's not good for your long-term, in my opinion, I'm not gonna put my financial future into one stock that may or may not increase in value. Even if it increases in value in that one stock you bought, 
becomes uh, and you borrow it for two dollars and it's ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars you still have to pay capital gains 28 35 percent whatever capital gains is before you have a realization of your money if you have a dividend then you can have monthly or quarterly income along the way and so that evens out the keel so in 20 years if you're a 20 year old person and you buy something that's got five percent yield and you just put reinvest 100 percent of it in 20 years you've got twice as much stock as you started with or more if it's a five percent yield or higher so you have to look at the long term transfer stock transfer agents american stock transfer and trusts computer share bank of new york mellon and there are others so that's a tortu that's a basic intro in the well not just drip but uh, uh, the uh, transfer agent as it were peace out live long and prosper god bless america